So what's up, people? Listen, this is going to be a short one. Um, I put up that video yesterday, an audio, of the phone conversation with the deputy program mission uh, manager for the Hubble Space Telescope program, Michael Mislinski. And he made a comment regarding the difference between what Hubble can do versus Sophia and the balloon telescopes that are being launched in Antarctica. And Ms. Linsky says that Hubble can take images in infrared and wavelengths and that Sophia and the balloons didn't have this capability. Meaning that even though Sophia had the same technical specifications as Hubble, he's saying that Sophia, which is a stratospheric air observatory, um, didn't have the capability of flying at 30 to 45,000 feet to conduct infrared and visible wavelength imagery. So this video is to show you guys that I'm not some crackpot weirdo who's just going to make claims without any documentary support to what I was saying to him because this guy's been handling this program for 25 years. You guys heard it for yourself. All right. I've been researching this just this year. And I've done enough in-depth, detailed technical research, comparative intelligence research on a technical level to be able to inform and educate this man on the similarities and comparisons of all of their stratospheric and astrophysics platforms. And I want to prove it to you because we're going to replay the audio of what he said and then I'm going to show you the proof to support who was right and who was wrong. Maybe I should have his job. I don't want it. But I want you guys to see that I'm just not throwing out information, talking out the side of my fucking ass. All right. It's not what you know. It's what you can prove. So let me play this audio for you real quick. You'll hear him and then you'll hear me and then I'm going to show you the proof that I was right. I was thinking, um, yeah, that, that wavelength that, that needs yeah. to be uh, more the balloons can, um, no, no, no. Achieve. Sophia can take, well, Sophia can take photos and wavelength. Sophia can do the same I thing mean, as Hubble. Yeah. Sophia can do the matter of fact the telescope on Sophia is identical to Hubble. Everything that Hubble can do, Sophia can do. Now I, I, I mean of course the plane's gotta land, but when it's in the air, it can literally conduct the same technical imagery capture and analysis data that Hubble can do. And of course Hubble's twenty four seven, Sophia's not. But when it's in the air, when Sophia's been in the air, it, it, it literally has captured the same photos as Hubble, and that's how I was able to do the comparison. As a matter of fact, okay. some of the pictures that Sophia captured were actually at a higher resolution and more clear than Hubble, which, which also, you know, you know, surprised me a little bit. How could something inside the stratosphere take a photo and do imagery through three or four different more layers of atmosphere when Hubble is literally supposed to be out in the exosphere where there's very little to no atmosphere and it's it's capturing more light than than uh, Sophia is. I, I, I really hope I'm wrong. I really do. I hope I'm wrong about Hubble because I I wouldn't want to be sitting next to you one day and you'd be really, really, really angry to find out <laughs> that, that Hubble may not be there. <laughs> well, it, it'd be quite a, um, I know it would be shocking, but it... It did. It did. Yeah. 
it would be shocking, but it just, I, I've already contacted FAI and I spoke to them and they said it's not in their database and they, they checked. It took them about a week to get back to me and they looked through the entire database. It said it, they even looked to see if maybe it would have been erased or deleted by mistake, you know, because they were able to check their log records and there was never even anything submitted. So, you heard that little clip, and uh, this is the NASA Office of Inspector General's report on the Sophia Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, okay? This is NASA's report that was supplied to me by the resident agent in charge of investigations at the Office of Inspector General. He sent me the link. Here's the case number. This is the Office of Audits. The audit reports dated July 9th, 2014. This guy in charge of the Hubble Space Telescope has known he should he should know. I know he's not in charge of the SOFIA program, but he should be very well aware what the capabilities of these platforms are because they have to collaborate with other program managers and 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 science people to compare you know what they're doing okay so I'm gonna show you something here that should shock you okay well it's not really gonna shock you it just basically supports what I said when I told him hey both both these platforms are similar and he says that Sophia could not capture wavelengths okay and look what the Office of Inspector General says okay specifically specifically okay specifically NASA designed Sophia NASA designed Sophia to study the universe in infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum and it can observe both infrared and visible wavelengths from 0.3 to 1600 microns let me say that one last time. NASA designed SOFIA to study the universe in the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum and it can be observed both infrared and visible wavelengths from 0 0.3 to 1600 microns. And here's your wavelengths. Figure 2. There you go. Hubble can do the same thing. So can SOFIA. He didn't know this. He didn't know it. Period. I do my homework, people. I take this very seriously. You want to make a claim? You can't show the documentation to back it up? You can't reveal the source of where you got it from? Then it can't be believed. It's not what you know. It's what you can prove. I appreciate all those who really took notice to that interview but now I think I'm gonna be motivated to make a second call to speak to someone in charge of the Sophia observatory platform I don't know who it's gonna be but it's gonna be raw I'm doing the research right now to find out who I can actually speak to to talk about this program peace out people you guys have a good weekend enjoy your Memorial Day and again, take care of yourselves.